My dear friend, Jackie Cabasso, uh, will bring the, uh, the call to action. Jackie has been the executive director of Western States Legal Foundation since 1984, and I'm proud to be a board member. She is a leading voice for nuclear weapons uh, abolition, speaking regularly at events and conferences around the world, and she's on the plane a lot, going a lot of places. She's founding mother of the Abolition 2000 Global Network to Eliminate Nuclear Weapons, the national co-convener of United for Peace and Justice, and the North American coordinator of Mayors for Peace. She participated in the 2017 negotiations at the UN on the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. Jackie Kapasa. Thank you all. When we started this morning, Patricia asked how many people were here for the first time. I want to ask how many people are here for the 35th time. <laughs> all right. On January 25th, the Bolton of the Atomic Scientists moved the hands of its iconic doomsday clock 30 seconds closer to the end of humanity. It is now set at two minutes to midnight, as close as it's ever been since its inception in 1947. In moving the clock 30 seconds closer to the hour of the apocalypse, the Bolton cited the failure of President Trump and other world leaders to deal with looming threats of nuclear war and climate change and declared the world is as threatening as it has been since World War II. Ominously, all of the nuclear armed nations are engaged in new nuclear arms races. Despite their animosities towards each other, they are united in opposition to the new treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons, and the original nuclear armed states are continuing to ignore their obligations under the 1970 Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty to end the arms race at an early date and to negotiate in good faith the elimination of nuclear weapons. Preparations for nuclear war are underway here at the Livermore Lab. As Mary Leah told you, 89% of the lab's fiscal year 2019 budget is dedicated to nuclear weapons activities, including developments of new ones. In an essay written after the round of Indian and Pakistani nuclear tests in 1998, Dr. Amulya Reddy, an eminent Indian scientist, described how his visit in 1999 to the former Nazi concentration camps in Poland intensified his opposition to the nuclear tests. The most powerful impression that persisted was of detailed engineering resulting in the immense technological complex created for the purpose of killing human beings. The meticulous organization and rigorous management were characteristic of mega industries. The camps were gigantic and horrific factories of death. The main gate of Auschwitz displayed the inscription, work brings freedom. Perhaps technology completely decoupled from values would be more appropriate. Walking through the scene of genocide in Auschwitz, one begins to think of historic parallels. In particular, one wonders whether there is a difference between the Nazi concentration camps and the development of the atom bombs at Los Alamos, the test at Alamogordo, and the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The Allies in World War II were not pursuing the final solution of extermination of any particular religious group. But with regard to the scale of the killing, the recruitment of capable minds, the harnessing of science and technology, the extent of organization, the resort to efficient project management methods, and the choice of targets to maximize annihilation of Japanese citizens, the Manhattan Project and its follow-up were like the concentration camps, in fact, even more horrendous in their impact. That's why we are here. In appealing to the 1982 UN Second Special Session on Disarmament, Hiroshima Mayor Takeshi Araki said, Hiroshima is not merely a witness of history. Hiroshima is an endless warning for the future of humankind. If Hiroshima is ever forgotten, if Hiroshima is ever forgotten, 
it is evident that the mistake will be repeated and bring human history to an end. Nagasaki Mayor Hitoshi Motoshima added, Nagasaki has to be forever the last city in the world bombed by nuclear weapons.